Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines in our beautiful city. At this point everything is functioning quite well except for the train system. We still have some train champs that I would like to address. Despite the fact I'm 34 years old, one sneaky bastardy wisdom tooth decided to actually start poking through the flesh. So my mouth is swollen and after a while it really hurts to talk, so this is gonna be a short one. What I always neglected a little bit is eventually this entire area is gonna be overgrown by a city. The way we have set things up, we have a lot of different districts. Some of those we're gonna fill up today. In areas like these at the old town, it's actually gonna be quite easy. Alongside the highway, we can have some offices. Maybe we're even gonna have another road connecting here. We can conveniently go beneath the bridge. Let me go ahead and actually do that. We're first gonna drag a road beneath the bridge and then we're gonna connect over to the right and over to the left. To be honest, these parts should be a little more asymmetrical. It's gonna look a lot better in my opinion. Okay, now time to drag a couple of roads along the highway. Yeah, there we go. Now the office buildings are gonna be a tad bigger, but maybe that's too close to the highway. Now, of course, my people don't really want office spaces at the moment, so we might want to take care of another area first in order to place down some residentials. For instance, I can see some more residential happening here before we maybe wrap it up with some offices. Now, this is... this is not how I built it. Oh man, come on, do me the favor. Wow, this road just has gone freaking insane. Oh yeah, we'll have to fix that. Yeah, it's still not quite believable. I have to revise this, so let's choose another corner. Wait, why not focus on this area first? We can expand this residential area with no effort. Looks like we're gonna need a little park structure, maybe a playground right there. And then I guess we just go a little nuts with the road pattern here. I mean, this can be quite organic. Just imagine we don't build the roads first, actually. I mean, if you were to build the roads first in reality, you'd probably go with more mathematical shapes. But I want this one to be nice to look at. Maybe a couple of spaces for trees. Let's see, we probably don't want to go too close to this because of all the noise pollution. Then maybe a couple of offices here as well, some more workspaces. And then wrap everything up like so. Let's take care of the services and get building. I'm gonna give you a nice park right there. That's probably all you get. Uh, actually, a carousel might not be too shabby. And man, the aviation airplanes just sound too funny. Right there. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I like it. Anyways, as I said, a carousel for you guys. Beautiful. Let's start by painting some of these. This is all gonna be high density residential, of course. Except for this part, I want to be offices because of the highway. And uh, maybe let's also get rid of these residential areas. We don't need those. I want to separate them a little bit from the highway. Naturally, at this point, since all of these districts don't have a lot of traffic, I think we cannot go wrong just connecting that. So if I take one of my nice roads, we could go ahead and hook this one up. Maybe we even want to go as far as connecting those. And I just see this is incredibly ugly. How do we fix that? I guess we can... yeah, let's just make a slope there. There we go. Much more realistic already. Just requires a bunch of rocks. But maybe this bump here... What? What's going on with this? Ah no, that's actually intentional. I thought this graphic was out of place, but this bump here is definitely not intentional. It's detail work anyways. Let's create some more pathways for citizens to easily cross these roads. I might even wanna go as far as building a pathway across here. Maybe we even make another little nature reserve here. I mean, this also goes into the category of filling the gaps. This is a gap we eventually have to do something with. We have a small gate or a large gate, both of which actually fit. I wonder what that is going to do with the terrain. I mean, this can't be good, right? Yeah, if I bring this down as well, the slope doesn't look quite as weird. Yeah, that's technically something you would see, but <laughs> that's definitely not something you would see. Woo! <laughs> Let's bring down this pathway. Bring this down a bit. Okay, yeah, I mean, we're going to screw up the mountain. Not too harshly, though. Concord Brook? Of course not. You guys are gonna give me an awesome name for this, hopefully. Let's actually go ahead and build this in one go. I'm just gonna make a nice beautiful pathway onto the other side. And actually, before we do that, we're gonna need another gate, don't we? I almost forgot to define the area before the game kindly reminded me. Now I can place down my side gate and we're gonna hook this up. 
Next up, of course, a bunch of smaller pathways. We already know there's not much to the nature reserve, you know. It's just a bunch of tents and lookouts. Maybe if you wanted to go crazy like we do in our detailed series, you can start placing down some props. But instead, what we're gonna do is just set up some of these buildings randomly. It doesn't really matter, in my opinion. Lookout towers everywhere. There's this lean-to shelter. I actually like that. I'm gonna place that twice. We have the large camping site and this one is insane. Okay, we have to move that. Let me go ahead and destroy this road. We're gonna force people to pay the ticket if they really want to take the shortcut. So we're gonna continue this main pathway all the way over to here and maybe even hook this one up. Yeah, that feels right. Right here we have a little bit of a flat space, so we can go ahead, continue the road, continue the park area, and we should have the space to place down the site without doing too crazy things with the terrain. We're gonna have a small lean-to shelter here, maybe another one of these lookout towers. They can have a platform here, maybe one or two tents right there. Of course, a couple of camping sites can never hurt. There's another type of campfire site. You can take that as well. A hunting cabin, though I'm not sure what this one is gonna do here. It's not gonna be a place a lot of animals converse. A bouldering site, of course, but you cannot go here. No, I just wanna move you. Wait, hold on. The camping site doesn't belong here, so I have the space for my boulders. This one we should be able to smooth out and construct believable cliffs, maybe. Good, with that out of the way, we placed everything we can without water. That means it's time to go into the nature stuff. Maybe let's use the brush for this. I'm gonna go with a very low brush strength and just paint a tiny bit. I also want some of these trees, please. Yes. Actually, just clicking a couple of times is gonna do a better trick than holding. Hey, voila, not too bad. There's just one thing missing in terms of vegetation and that is bushes. Just a smooch of bushes every now and then, it's gonna do us a great favor. There we go, I kind of like it. One more thing we cannot fail to do is fencing this all off. So I'm just gonna set up some fencing here along the road, even though people wouldn't really break in here. But I guess you cannot be careful enough. I also have a little bit of fencing here, but other than that, I think we should be good and we can just let this go. The entertainment level is more than enough for level 5, we just have to let the visitors trickle in. In terms of development, we're doing good here. Offices and residentials alike are slowly building. You know, since we have all this commercial demand, it might not be the worst of ideas to set up a bunch more commercial buildings here. Those could be two more shopping corners and then the rest are gonna be offices for sure. But at least it's gonna help out balancing the demands. Uh Oh, no, 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 I did... No! What? What's going on? Somebody doesn't have the power. Something changed here. Why? How? No, what? <laughs> okay, for some reason, that wasn't connected anymore. Thankfully, it wasn't anything sewned, otherwise they would have all abandoned me. Back to our district, we're gonna watch it a little bit and see it develop. I mean, these guys are gonna have tons of needs. We could potentially already look into that. Uh, we healthcare, I mean, yeah, sure. They could use some more healthcare. Maybe a child health center wouldn't be the worst of ideas here. We're also gonna install a sauna. I mean, the next sauna is all the way over to the other side of this district. The office people there will definitely thank me. Last but not least, I would like to have a community pool here as well. In terms of a fire, I think these guys need better coverage overall. We're gonna set up another fire department here and maybe another one here. Yeah, we get a little bit of industrial demand. I think I'm gonna set up the offices now. We can have a tiny amount of shopping on this side as well. And then last but not least, some high density here and low density on the other road. I think that's gonna look nice. Now I have to be a little bit careful. I'm not a fan of connecting districts usually this way. I usually want them to be connected with the highway only. Not because I like that in real life, but because the traffic works better. And we can already see that maybe a lot of these vehicles are now using this exit in order to get to the Twin Peaks district, which is bad, of course. One way we can easily fix this is set up a one-way road instead. And I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna upgrade a little bit right here. That is gonna face into this direction. So people from the Twin Peaks district can at least do the shopping, but they're not gonna ignore the highway. When I fill up this area with a bunch of trees to hide the ugliness, just put it under the carpet. 
we seem to have a slight hiccup right here. Everyone is using the right lane, even though a lot of the vehicles are going straight. We could fix this with Traffic Manager, I do know that. However, first we're gonna attempt to upgrade this. Now, I don't want the bridge to be destroyed in the process, please. Yeah, there we go, that should do the trick. Okay, now we have one lane dedicated to go right and the other two lanes are going straight. That should work much better. There we go, a minute or two later we got it cleared. There are so many cars coming from this direction, it is insane. I mean, right now we're also having trouble with the public transport usage again. Let's actually go ahead and do another check. We might want to add more or less vehicles. Okay, looks like the bus routes are all doing fine. I'm not lacking the buses. Let's check the tram lines. Hmm, looks like the tram lines also don't have any issues picking up everyone. Next stop, Metro. Yes, there's a lot of people on the Metro, no? Not an awful lot have to wait here either, but I would have been surprised. So maybe all that new traffic at the moment is due to us expanding so quickly. By the way, it was a really bad idea to zone so close to the farming industry. I have to get rid of these buildings. They complain about being sick all the time. Since we're already here, we're gonna fill in another gap at the farming district right there and finally connect this with a proper road. I also want to make this pathway slightly better and we can finish zoning all of this. Maybe they were complaining about being sick because of the pollution. Why is there pollution? Ah, the cattle shed. Oops. <laughs> pollution. Yeah, ooh, this is really bad. I mean, we can just get rid of them here and the pollution is gonna go away. But it's bad I didn't realize it. I'm sure you all taught me. I'm so sorry. We're gonna move all of the cattle sheds over here. This is where they actually belong. There's another cattle shed and I guess that actually gives us some more space for fields. Farming industry, can we fit a medium crop field? Yeah, let's put that here. Another one right there. We can have a couple of small fruit fields with a pathway in the center. Or maybe even a dirt road. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go with the dirt road. I kind of like that. And then we're gonna continue it a little bit. Add just a tad bit more residential. I want this one to be a greenhouse and then two times pears. Actually, let's leave this guy on apples. This guy, potatoes, that's fine. Good, I'm glad we finally fixed that as well. Gonna add even more residential right there, filling the gaps. In the meantime, the new area developed and thinking about this, I might want to include that in our district here. Yeah, let's continue the district to include all these new parts. At the festival area, we have a lot of noise pollution, but what we can do is set up another road with a tiny bit of shopping. Gonna add a little bit of high density there and low density here. Of course, with a little bit of a tree wall in between. Let's actually use some of these as well. Even better, we can now connect this pathway with the road over there. Took nicely care of the gap, in my opinion. We can now get rid of this ugliness. Beautiful. What's our traffic like? I just saw an 80% there drop to 79. Good, that means maybe to wrap up this episode, we're gonna take care of our train problem. So I'm actually gonna, yeah, check this out. This is insane. Let's actually see how this develops. I'm gonna do the despawning thing and then re-enable the despawning. So we wanna know how exactly this happens. It actually just took care of the trains that were literally stuck. So they would never have moved again. This is why this functionality allowed them to despawn while none of the cars mostly didn't despawn. Uh, now, of course, my crazy unrealistic intersection from the previous time could be the issue. Mm, let's see, they already get into troubles here. Yeah, this train station is just a freaking mess. I don't like this one. It's too close to the intersection. The trains coming from the top should be able to go smoothly through, but you can see they have to stop here because this guy is queuing up for the cargo station. One solution could be to take all of these and bring them up a little bit. So if we bring this further up, maybe we're gonna rebuild some of the roads. I'm also gonna get rid of this connection, do it a bit earlier or later. Let's also get rid of this one, though this one is probably not an issue. We're still gonna do it. I'm gonna page down here a little bit, then go beneath the rails. Let's actually see what's going on here. Ah yes, of course, there's another rail. So instead, we're just gonna go over and join up like so. This should definitely be enough space from the train station. What if we just joined up with this intersection for now? I might have to redo this anyways. I mean, it's insane. 
I just realized in this case we're going to need another connection in order to join up with this rail. And right now it doesn't really allow me to do it. So we're just going to hook it up like so for now. Ooh, actually, maybe we should do both directions. So they avoid the other intersection altogether. Let's try that. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. Don't use the move it tool in order to move the cargo terminal, apparently. Let's move it over here and move it back. Come on. You see, it's tiny little details like this. There isn't space for an entire train in this intersection. So even though the trains could go through there smoothly, they always stop here because the previous train hasn't gone through the entire intersection. So if I were past me, I would move this much further away. Uh, let's see, this is gonna be a little bit of an issue. Maybe we just rebuild part of this. Maybe a better solution for now. And mind you, this is temporary just because I need this to be fixed. But we're gonna hook up the trains like so. That means we do not need any of this anymore. Okay, I'm happy to report the problem lies now somewhere else. The problem is that too many trains are coming from the right side here. Maybe we're gonna set up a separate track that is just gonna bypass everything. Like at this point we can split off, lead a third track along these, then connect up this one as well and we're just gonna bypass everything at this point. This way we could possibly eliminate all the trains that are going straight. Put a little bit of a relief on the system. Let me go ahead and set something up here. We can just uh, follow the rails here, I guess. Go down here, bypass this intersection. And I guess at this point we just remain underground and we want to go down as far as possible so I can bypass the other tunnels there. Coming up here and then joining with this track. Certainly everyone who wants to go outside of the city is going to use this rail now. Because I really need a break and for simplicity's sake I'm just going to hook it up like so. These guys here still need the way to access the station. So yeah that's probably going to be my system of course once we build it correctly. It's not going to look insanely stupid like it does now. Oh no, of course this is not going to work because trains that want to go straight already have a very easy and quick way. If we compare this, this might already be a longer detour from the original. My assumption is that's why nobody wants to use it. Let's try to hook this up differently then. Actually, maybe let's bring these together. I want to hook this up here as well. Ah, ah, there we go. Okay, we already have our first train actually using this intersection. I'm so glad that I didn't have to scrap the entire idea. So this is perfect. Now the only thing that bothers me is that they still have to turn left. If we manage to get them out of the system already here, it would be more efficient. But I guess it doesn't matter. We have more traffic coming from the right than from the left. So usually it should still be pretty fluent. Now the only thing stupid about it is of course this part here. That's not gonna work. Gonna bring this over here and we're gonna try to connect it at this point. See what that does. <sighs> Finally! Okay, it is somewhat working, at least the concept. I'm not happy with how this looks. I mean, this in... Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna mention it anymore. It's just a lot of people mention when stuff is ugly, but a lot of the time I want to make things functional and then make something beautiful with the concept we figured out. But yeah, with that out of the way, we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Let's check out the district one more time. Yeah, it's coming along, coming along. I like filling out the gaps eventually. It's just gonna make it somewhat more believable. With that out of the way, have a great time, thanks for watching, and see you soon. Bye bye.